Yes, hello, it's me, Dan Fastigana. I have opinions, and I also have a new camera. I will likely be probably playing around with my setup a little bit in the future, but I really like the way that these shots look, so I'm keeping this for now. Today I'd like to review another product for you, and this week's product is Digital Art Supplies. Oh, the sun just came out, it got really bright. I don't know, this is a new camera. We're figuring these things out right now. This is a thing used to make digital art. Digital art is art that is on the computer. Digital art is good for making art with effects that would be either impossible for traditional art or would otherwise just take a really long time. And by that I mean motion blur. Digital art is for motion blurring. It's used for making motion blurs. Digital art is also really good for if you want carpal tunnel, because it'll give you carpal tunnel. This is a tablet pen. It is a pen that is used for drawing on a tablet. You can't use anybody else's tablet pen because it will probably have different settings than yours, and trying to use a tablet pen with different settings than yours is like trying to eat sand. You can do it. I guess. Somehow, your own tablet pen feels way better than everyone else's, even if it's the exact same model. So does your whole tablet, actually. This is a tablet. There are a whole bunch of varieties of these, and they are all pretty flat. You draw on it with its pen, and then it shows up on the computer. Of course, mine's not showing up because I don't have a clip in. I have the wireless kit, which means I can plug it in this little thing instead of using a cord, which gives me anxiety because I know that one day I will totally lose this. Look how small it is, I mean. It works. I will tell you something about these. It is very hard to disconnect your brain from staring at your hand while you're drawing. So it's probably advisable to do what I did and learn how to use these when you're like 12, because then you won't actually remember the horror of that learning curve, and you will instead just be haunted by the terrible art that you did while you were learning. The other day I was thinking about doing a video where I show my old art, but then also I'm never ever going to do that. It's for your own good. Digital art is also great if you want to do things really quickly, or if you're anything like me and you're terrified of messing up. Depending on what brand of tablet you use, the surface might eat the nibs of your tablet pen. And I'm not going to say which brand does this. But also you should look online for a surface protector. It's like a sticker you put on there and then it keeps it smooth and it keeps your pen from getting all worn down. And I've had mine for a couple of years, and I didn't wash my tablet down before I put it on, so there are like cat hairs stuck in it forever. So that's my aesthetic. And don't put spaghetti in your tablet pen. Digital art is really great if you want to get sucked into a drawing and lose eight hours of your life and only come back to reality when your hand completely stops working. I want to talk about the other kind of tablets. I don't have one of those. Other tablets are like, kind of like phones, only they're bigger and they're not a phone. Can you tell if I'm looking at the lens or if I'm looking at the viewport? I guess we're gonna find out. Tablets are good f These are both called tablets. What am I gonna do? Should I just call it a pad? Pads! Not the lady kind. Oh my god, my lighting is gonna be so whack in this video. You're doing a good job, new camera. They're also good if you have a lot of money which is probably the reason why I don't have one. I would not recommend using your phone and the stylus because I've tried that, it sucks. I should probably talk about drawing software. I have one type of it. Oh, this is very hard to do. This is drawing software. It's software on the computer for drawing with. Drawing software is great for having a million tools that you don't know how to use. Seriously, I've been using this for like seven years, and I still don't know how to do most of the things on it. But well, you know what I can do? I can draw a picture. No, I can't. I would say digital drawing is really cool. I really like digital art a lot. Also, if you do digital art, you will eventually learn wrist stretches, because at some point, your wrist will stop working and it'll feel like you're dying. And then you'll do this. See, it's kind of hard to learn and it can be a little bit expensive. Personally, I think it's pretty worth it because it's a lot of fun. So my rating for digital art is nine. I'm running out of rating systems to use. I know I already said this, but I have a new camera, which opens up my opportunities to do more videos of different types. So there will probably be more like sketch comedy stuff up on here soon. As of making this video, I am seven subs away from having 100. 
which is very exciting to me. So if you like my videos, tell your friends about it. Oh, I'm also gonna change my outro a little bit to include people that do art that isn't drawing, because I like all art, and I don't want to exclude those people. So remember, no matter what kind of art supplies you use, or what you create, or where you are in your artistic journey, you're doing great and I'm proud of you. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna punch the sun for fluctuating the light in my video. Case in point. See you next time.